Hey, Mark Rice here and today I will show you a couple of my new tricks and how to draw flat design house. So start now. Like always we will start with the rectangle tool. So hit M on the keyboard and draw the rectangle. Ok, now I need a square. So hit M on the keyboard, hold shift and draw the square. It needs to be bigger than the rectangle. Hold shift and rotate the shape by 45 degrees. Ok, move it here. Select the shapes. Go to align and hit horizontal align center. Ok, then go to pathfinder and use intersect. Ok, so we just got the first part of the house. Now I need to create the first part of the roof. So copy the shape. Just hold Alt, start to move, then hold Shift, if you want to be more precise. And for the first time I will show you how to draw with the pen tool. So select the pen tool or just hit P. And start to draw. Click this point here, then this one, this one, this one as well, and here close the shape. Ok, cool, change the color of the roof. And here I will create one more rectangle. Something like this. And it will be darker a bit. Because I want to achieve 3D effects even if we draw flat design. Ok, the roof will be better if we add the ledge. First, I will copy this shape, Ctrl C, and paste it in place with Ctrl F. Ok. Then, I will change the color of the copied shape and copy it one more time. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Then, move it down with down keyboard arrow. Ok. Select the copied shapes and use minus front ok and here i need one rectangle as well so hit m on the keyboard and just draw it cool it will be darker than the roof ok cool now i will select this shape hold shift Select it together with this shape, copy it with Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and move it down a bit. Ok. So now we will use the copied shapes for the shadow. Ok, cool. And the house will be better if we change this size here. Ok. And here we need to cut this part. So hit M on the keyboard. Something like this. Create the rectangle, then select the rectangle together with the front part of the house and the shadow. Ok. Then use the white, ungroup, and delete everything except this yellow part and this orange part as well. Ok, something like this. And here I need to fill this gap. I can do it with the rectangle, send to back and use dark red color of the roof. Ok, the basic shape of the house is done. So let's create windows and door. But before that I will group the shapes. And we create a chimney as well. So let's do it fast. First hit M on the keyboard. Draw the rectangle. Ok. Copy the shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, grab it here and 
change the size of the new shape. Something like this. Okay. Then I will select the shapes. Copy the shapes with Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Move it here. Then copy the new shapes again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Move it here. So these shapes will represent the shadows. This one will be darker a bit. And this one as well. Something like that. And I can change the size for this rectangle. And this one. Okay, cool. And one more detail here. I need to cut this part by 45 degrees because I need to create the same angle as the rough. So double click on the shape. In that way you will isolate the shape. Hit M on the keyboard, draw the rectangle or square, whatever. Hold shift, rotate it by 45 degrees. Move it here. Select the shapes and use minus front tool. Double click outside of the shape. And that's it. Now you can group these shapes and change the position if you want. Cool. Hit L on the keyboard and draw a few circles. It will be the smoke. Okay, cool. So, this part is finished. And now it's time for the windows. First, I will draw a square, so hit M on the keyboard and draw the square here. It will be white. Copy it with Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Then hold Shift plus Alt and change the size. So this is the glass and it will be blue. Okay. And I want to make it look like it's in the house. Copy the white part one more time. Control C, Control F. Hold this point here. Change the size. Then hit I on the keyboard and use this yellow color for this part here. Okay. It's already better. Now I will draw one rectangle here and use the color of the roof. Copy the shape with Ctrl C, Ctrl F, change the size. Use this red dark color. And here create one more rectangle. It will be the shadow. Double click on the glass and create a reflection. So hit M. Change the color. It will be lighter. Then hold shift, rotate it by 45 degrees. Move it here. Okay, copy the shape, Control C, Control F, change the size, move it here. Then select the shapes together with the glass and use the white in the pathfinder. Delete this part, this part and this part and that's it. The window is finished. Group the window with Control G command. Hold out and copy the window here. Something like this. Okay. Now ungroup these shapes and copy this shape of the house. Control C, Control F. Move it here and make it darker a bit. It will be basis of the house, something like that. And I will do this with this part as well. 
So control C, control F, hold this point here and move the shape here. Something like this. Okay, cool. If you want to change the size of the house, you can select direct selection tool, select these points and move the points up. Okay, it's cool. Mm, okay. Then here I will create one more rectangle. Okay. Something like this. Copy the shape, Control C, Control F. Move it here. And use brown color for it. It's cool. Copy the shape one more time. Control C, Control F, change the size and create the shadow. Just add a little bit of black. So I am done with the door. Control G, group the shapes. Here I will add one more window and I will use circles for it. Okay. So, hit L on the keyboard and draw the circle. Something like that. Copy the shape, Control C, Control F, hold Shift, move it here. Now, this shape will be white. And I will copy the new shape with Control C, Control F, and use blue color for it. Something like this. It will be glass okay so now select the blue shape hold shift then select the white shape and the orange shape of the window go to pathfinder and use the white ungroup delete this part and this part and that's it cool Okay, and the last part of the house is the stairs. So, go here, hit M on the keyboard, draw here the rectangle. Okay, something like this. Use this color for it, copy the shape, Control C, Control F. Okay, and make it longer. Okay, something like this. Now I will copy the new shape one more time, Control C, Control F, and make it even longer. Okay. Use this color for it. Then copy the shape, Control C, Control F, move it here, and it will be lighter a bit. Okay, something like this. So, the house is finished, but like always we can add a few details for the texture. So, now I will use rounded rectangle tool. So, go here in the tool panel and select rounded rectangle. And draw it here. Use this red color for it. Then I will create one more here. Okay, I will use shadow for it. And now I can duplicate these shapes. So hold the shape, hold down, move it here. Repeat the process a few times. Okay. And I can do that with this shape as well. So hold out, move it here, hold out, move it here. I will do that one more time and here will be one rounded rectangle as well. Okay. I can change the color a bit. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. Now I will group the shapes. And around the house I can add a plants or some grass and stuff like that. 
So first select the green color, hit L on the keyboard, draw the circle, copy the circle, Control C, Control F, copy it one more time, something like this. Then unite the shape with the Unite tool in the Pathfinder, hit M on the keyboard, delete the lower part of the green shape, something like this, and move it here. Okay, then create one more circle, it will be darker a bit. Okay, move it here. Click with the right mouse button, go to range and send to back. Okay, then I will copy this shape, Control C, Control F. Change the color. Send to back. And here I can add one more rounded rectangle. It will be the grass. Then hit L on the keyboard and create a few circles. Four textures as well. Something like this. Okay. Okay, and that's it, we just created the beautiful house. In the future we create a more tutorial like this, so stay tuned, because the best is yet to come. Peace.